Well, hello guys, welcome back. So I have had a lot of people ask me about the difference, you know, what is it like going from marriage to um, marrying a god? You know, they already have the human spouse and may they have kids, may they have grandkids, but you know, along comes the god, what is it like? I can't speak to that. What I can speak to what is what it's like to be married with the gods to be alone for a decade, to figure that's going to be your life for the rest of your life and be perfectly content and happy in it, and then to meet someone. It happens. And if you've ever done that, if you've ever gone from just being with gods to meeting someone, oh my lord, doesn't it feel like your life just ended? Easy, human partners, let me explain. Usually those of us that are with the gods for years have probably promised them that we are going to be with them and only them for the rest of our life. We're going to dedicate our lives to them. And the gods are like, okay. And then years pass and years pass and then you meet somebody and you're like, mm, 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 but I made vows. And you go to your gods and you're like, okay, I know I made vows, so I'm going to get this person out of my life. And the gods are like, but wait, maybe we picked them for you. Maybe you've been alone long enough. And you're like, what? But I promised you a lifetime. We know. And, you know, I've been going crazy, asking the gods for signs, making sure this just isn't me being a weak and fallible human. And I'm not just wanting to have my cake and eat it, too. I'm like, this just seems too good. It seems like a trap. I would promised my gods lifetime of service, lifetime of dedication being with only them, and now here comes this human I care about, and I'm like, Shh, this is not what I planned. And, you know, humans, having faith in humans the way you have faith in gods, oh gosh, isn't that harder? I don't understand humans the way I understand gods. I really don't understand gods at all, but I understand them enough. Humans? Humans are hard, yo. Um, humans have emotions that run more immediate than a god's emotions at times. At times, I, I'm married to Loki. Believe me, I know about the immediate emotions with him. They have a backstory you don't know. You know, you don't you don't get a book of their mythology with a human. Um, you have their version of a story, and you don't have anyone else's, right? Um, there aren't multiple versions of that story, hopefully. And, you know, it starts to be like, wow, this is harder to have faith in humans because there's no mythology here. You don't know anything about them. You're learning stuff about them. And humans can do all the human-y stuff, right? Like, we're tired, we need to go need have naps, we need to poop, we need to pee, we need to eat, we need to get our chores done. Aren't we a track sometimes? Like, you know, you're going from gods who I have never had a god go, I just stepped out of the shower, I was vacuuming, what do you want? I've never had a god do that. They seem to live in a purple, you know, eternal place of happiness where there are no chores, which is where I hope to go someday. <laughs> You know, laughter and cheers back there. Humans, oh, they got stuff to do, right? And sometimes you are like, oh boy, I'm going to see my human today. And you're human busy. Or sometimes they're not busy. It's their day off. And you know you really should be getting this stuff. Like chores or sorting out your bill drawer. Or, you know, all that other exciting humaning that you have to do. And you don't do it because you're having fun spending time with them. Um, I've noticed... Humans like to spend a lot more time. Loki and I can spend all day together. Odin and I can do it too. But you still have those breaks to be human, if it makes sense. You still have those breaks to go play video games alone, to run your channel, if that's what you do, to go to work, to do stuff. Gods figure that out pretty quickly. Sometimes with humans, it's hard. Um, I remember a certain sitcom where a young couple was having a lot of trouble, and the married couple was like, you know, they love to sit around and look at each other all day and be in love inside, but they got bills to pay. The one has to go do their work, and the other one has to go do their work, and they love their work. They do. They love their spouse, too, sure, and they would love to be with them. Does anybody remember how people on the fifth day, obviously, we had a lot more going on, but in the year we never mentioned, by the fifth day, they found out that they did not want time with their family after all, and they were going a little crazy. Um, That can happen. 
it happens with two mortal partners when one retires or one loses their job. Um, you know, obviously money and stress and that, that is a factor, obviously. But let's say money's not an issue. All of a sudden, you're spending a lot of time with this person, right? And you'd gotten kind of used to being on your own. And that's kind of where I am now. I'm used to being on my own with the gods. I have a lot of guilt because here comes this human and, you know, I'm letting go of sometimes I'm not lighting my candles and doing my incense because I'm writing to them. And then I'm like ju jumping into the channel real quick and then I'm doing something else. And, you know, I feel a little bit bad about that. I feel a little bit bad about the fact that the human is taking up, you know, taking up time, which I love you, honey, I do. But, you know, they are taking up time that formerly belonged to the gods. And it is, you know, it is guilt feelings, especially if you promise the gods forever. And the gods are like, we're okay. And I'm like, okay, send me like 80 signs that this is the person. And they start to. And you're getting a ton of signs and like even gods you don't work with are coming giving you signs and you're like, yeah, but not those signs. Like, okay, what I need is a parade and I need somebody to, you know, you keep coming up with more and more and more. And then after a while, sometimes God stops sending signs and you're like, oh no, what did I do? And I think it's kind of, you know, as I've been told in my relationship, you know, with two humans you have to trust each other right you can't be with someone that you're paranoid that they're you know they're either doing whatever people don't like their relationship partner to do some people for some people it would be running around some people wouldn't care for some people it would be slacking some people wouldn't care for some people it will be working too hard and some people wouldn't care um, and, you know, the funny thing was, as I go about my day and I go for walks and I'm still with the gods, you know, alone with the gods then, I am walking past this house and this guy is just screaming at the top of his lungs at, I presume, his partner. Screaming. It's a quiet Sunday except for his house. And, you know, I walk all the way up to our library and I'm sitting there and I'm trying to enjoy this view and this guy is just screaming in rage and I'm like, is this foreshadowing do the gods do that is this what i have to look forward to holy crap i never thought of that you live with a person they don't go away do they they just live in the same house it must be horrible and so i'm going through that too i'm going through that too it's a huge adjustment to think oh you know you have eight billion gods you don't have to give up an iota of closet space or you know space in your bedroom or you know anything else like you do not have to give up the room when you're going to be with a human you kind of have to right you like they need a place to put their stuff um they need to use the facilities too and eat please and could they sleep sometimes please so yeah it's a big adjustment it's one you're happy to make and yet you're kind of scared too i'm kind of like in the back of my head are the gods just playing along and then when we're married, they're just going to drop the hammer and punish us both at once and be efficient? I don't know, guys. I don't know. I This is where you have to have faith in your gods and faith that the gods are saying what they're saying. And that it's not just you imitating your gods, as we've talked about on the channel, you can do. And you have to have faith in your human partner. And, you know, you may find out that the gods are sending a human partner to you for a life lesson. They say we all come here to learn, right? Maybe you learned all you could, not that your relationship's over, but you learned all you could from being married to the gods. But being married to or in a relationship with a human, that's, that's different. That's different. Humans can't access you the way they can access a god. Um, you're not, they're on demand, you know, it, there's like, uh, saying, give your problems to God, he's up all night anyways. Yeah, humans don't do that. So we can be a bit of a downer sometimes compared to a deity, especially if, as is in my case, that person is going through courtship with a deity at the same time they're courting you. Uh, I, I don't compare. I know that. I need to sleep. I need my naps. I have doctor's appointments. I have all this other stuff. I have recording to do. Loki don't seem to do a damn thing, does he? And <laughs> I got laughter and hysterical laughter and cheers back here. But yeah, guys, it is an adjustment. It's one I'm happy to make. 
but whoo, is in an adjustment. So if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.